So hello cricket lovers welcome to the new vlog today we are going for the 100 and the teams are Birmingham Phoenix and Walsh Fire right here at Birmingham Edge Weston ground so the 100 is like a new fast version of cricket it's the new league which is introduced by the ECB so giving you some information about the Edge Weston ground so it is located in the Edge Weston Birmingham it's one of the most iconic grounds in the history which staged his first game an international cricket match in 1902 between England and Australia. Since then, Edgbeston Stadium has played a host to a number of historic matches including the 2013 Champions Trophy final where India recorded a 5-run victory over England. So that was the history of the ground and some famous matches that happened over the time in that Edgbeston ground. So this is how the ground looks like from the outside. I came in a bit early because I wanted to record some good footage and I'm a bit shy so I thought I'll go first and record some bits early. So this is how the ground looks like from outside. This is the main entrance of the ground. This is from where officials enter. And you can see some fans around because when you buy the tickets for 100 league you get to see two games in one ticket basically. So let's say I got the tickets for this game. So I can watch two games in one ticket. So first is women's games which starts at 3 o'clock and then the men's match which starts roughly at 6.30. So you can watch two games in one ticket. And as always you do the security thing and get in the ground. And while going towards my seat I'll give you a short little explanation of how the 100 works. So it's a 100 ball per inning so whosoever scores the most run wins. The fielding side changes the ends after 10 balls. Bowler deliver either 5 or 10 consecutive balls. The captain decides. So each bowler can deliver a maximum of 20 balls, which is like roughly 4 overs, you can say. And each bowling side gets a strategic timeout up to 90 seconds. And in that, coaches can come and talk in the middle and have some discussions and all around. More about the power play is of 25 balls that each team gets. Two fielders are all outside the 30-yard circle and the 100 match will last like roughly two and a half hours. So that is the rules and regulation of the game, like how the 100 works. So this is my stand right in front. It's called as RSE stand. So these are the things you can get like on a game day. For now, it's pretty quiet because I came in a bit early. So this is the stand. You get a lot of immunities, you can have a lot of food options and all. So that's my stand. So let's hop right to my stand. So there you can see that's the view that I'm gonna get from my stand. I always try to book seats right in front of the side screen only so that I can record good bits for you. Like a pretty good shots. Like it's it's a nice angle to record shots and everything, I would say. So that's the view that I'm gonna get for the rest of the match. There we go, final preps are just being done just right before the game. You can see people placing the boundary cushions. There you see the media team. And even teams are out, warming up. And you can see the ball fire warming up just right beside them. It's the Birmingham Phoenix. Here comes the teams. Birmingham Phoenix came out, so in that lineup, they had pretty good bowlers. They had Shane Sharp, Preeti, they had. RS Rauf, which is like an extraordinary bowling lineup because they both are fighting quick here. Yeah. They're pretty good bowlers. And for Birmingham Phoenix, Will Smead and Ben Duggett came out to bat. Overall, they had a pretty good batting lineup. They had Moin Ali as the skipper, and they also had down the order Liam Livingston. And there you go. Shane Shafridi. There we go straight. 
straight away he starts with a yorker i mean that's his go-to ball and from the other end it was haris rauf and he was bowling pretty well he was a bit unlucky initially and the game was going a bit slow i feel they were not scoring that quickly coming on phoenix but ben dakett was looking in a pretty good nick he was even smashing shain shafri the star initially but the overall game was pretty slow the overall vibe of the ground was pretty cool as you can see but haris rao was the main pick of the bowlers he was bowling pretty fast and quick and birmingham phoenix didn't score much halfway stage they scored only about run a ball i would say but then haris rao completely destroyed them he got liam livingston and a one more batch when he got out and this was the wicket of moin ali and that was one of the best catches i have seen ever he got it on a rebound which got it from his shoulder i guess you might be able to see and that was the end of the first innings watchfire managed to restrict phoenix at a very low total they only scored like 112 runs at a loss of seven wickets which is a quite low total in, a, in this format i would say and then soon started the second innings there we go joey clark and stevie came to bat on and they initially took off they started pretty well they made a partnership of roughly 70 odd runs which is a lot in a 110 run chase i would say and initially they were batting pretty good i mean they were hitting all around the ground they were batting pretty fast almost near by half stage like near about 50 balls they almost chased down the total but in between they did stumble they lose four wickets in in about just 20 runs as you can see on their screen 80 balls were left and 64 runs were needed and no wickets but then suddenly they lost 20 uh, in 20 runs they lost four wickets but overall the opening partnership did the job for them i mean that was the partnership which held them a lot but at the later half shadab khan did try to get some glimmer of hope for the Birmingham Phoenix but it didn't work out and it was just 27 runs needed in just 40 odd balls and that was the winning shot and it was a pretty one sided game i would say but the vibe was pretty cool though it was a one sided game but overall vibe and the environment at the ground was pretty cool and that was it for the game and i left the ground as soon as the game was over cuz i had a train to catch and i was like rushing for the train cuz if i it was a bit slow i would have missed the train so that was it for the game guys but i'll keep posting youtube shots of this game and some other reels on instagram as well i'll put up a link in the description for my instagram handle if you have made it till here it means a lot and there you guys see once you get out of the ground you still have a lot of of stuff you can enjoy i would say you still have a screen where the other games will be going on if you have been to this ground and you missed another game which is happening in some other part of uk you can still see that game there's a complete area which has a screen and a sitting area you can see the game over here you can still enjoy your food and a lot of things and there are the buses which will straight away take you to the city center but i would say i would suggest not to take that cuz there'll be a lot of traffic and you will be stuck so it's better you just walk walk by it just takes nearly half an hour and you will be there but i'll be bringing a lot of good stuff for you in the future Thanks for watching and bye